Hey guys, this is Chad Halverson from When I Work, and I'm really excited today to show you a new feature that we finished that I think a lot of people are going to find extremely helpful. Um, what's neat about it is that it's actually three features in one. Uh, we call it annotations, and really quick, what you can do with it is you can use it to specify certain days that you don't want your employees to request certain days off, and you can also use it to create announcements for specific days where you might want to communicate special information on a certain day. And then the third thing you can do with it is you can specify certain days that the business is closed. So it's a really powerful feature that, that, that really is three features in one. So let's go through kind of how it works. So you, you, you look at the scheduler here, um, everything looks pretty familiar, but what you'll notice is that when you start to uh, put your mouse over each day of the week, uh, you'll notice that there is a little uh, new icon with a little th kind of uh, thought bubble with a plus in it. And when you click on that, we'll click on the 14th here, you'll get a configuration dialog that allows you to configure your annotation. And what you'll do is you'll set the date or the date range that you want your annotation to, to, uh, to be effective for. Um, I've got February 14th to February 14th. It's a one day annotation. I'll set the color to red. And then I can specify the locations or the schedules that I want this particular annotation to be uh, to be visible on to my to my staff to my employees. Um, I can choose one location, multiple locations, or all. I'm going to pick all. And then below that, I can set up the title. So this is where you know I might identify the, what this annotation is all about. So it could be a company party. It could be that the business is closed. It could be there's a big event coming up. Um, so for me, I'm going to say that we're closed for Valentine's Day. I don't know why you'd be closed on Valentine's Day, but um, in the message area, you might add some detail around why you're closed or what the, what the, more, what the detail is on the event or whatever. So uh, I'm going to say we're closed today so that everyone can eat lots of heart-shaped candies. So that's the description. I can put as much information there as I want. And then below that, I've got uh, the three different configuration options for this annotation. So for me, um, we're closed on Valentine's Day, so I will choose business is closed. That way that's communicated to the employees. If this was a certain date or date range that I don't want to allow time off to be uh, uh, requested, I could check that box. And if this was an, an, an announcement, which I could very well make it an announcement so that people um, see it in their feed when they go to their schedule, um, I can identify it as an announcement. So I've got this annotation set up now, and I'm going to save it. Uh, once I save it, you'll notice that the the day here that I did it on um, turns uh, a different color. So I, I picked red, so you'll notice that it tinted the background of that day red and then colorized the top header of, of that day that as, as the color I chose. And because I said that we're closed, um, it says closed as, as a header at the top. And then I can put my mouse over it and it shows me the detail um, that I have in there. If I want to edit it, I can click on the little thought bubble here and get the dialog back up. If I want to delete the annotation, I can delete it. Um, but that's how it'll appear in the scheduler. Uh, so if your employees are logging in to the full schedule, uh, they'll see that information uh, in here like this with the color. Now, in the my schedule, the area where your employees uh, are going to be looking most, um, will go in there, and in there we can see um, all of the different annotations that I that are coming up, and any that uh, that I've that are in the past, and and so forth. So um, I can see up at the top here that I have an important upcoming date on the 19th. Uh, there's a staff meeting, and there's some information about that here that I, I need to remember to bring a pen and paper. And uh, that is an annotation that I created uh, for the 19th that is showing up as an announcement. When I go down and look at my schedule, I can see that some of the days have a, have a colorized uh, tint to them. And any, any day that has a color to it is a day that has an annotation. And you'll also notice that the, there's a little thought bubble in the corner um, that when I put my mouse over it, I can see the details of the annotation um, there as well. I'll, I'll go back to last week here, to Valentine's Day, and you can see Valentine's Day here. We set it to closed, so it says that we're closed. And 
the information around that is, is there as well, showing that we're closed for, for Valentine's Day. So that is annotations. Uh, I hope that everybody finds it extremely uh, helpful. Uh, if you have questions, you can leave them in the comments or you can email support at oneiwork.com uh, to get questions answered. Um, but we're, we think this is something that's going to be really helpful for a lot of folks on, on One I Work. And we think because it really solves three problems in one feature that it's going to be uh, even more helpful than, than, than it would be if it was just doing one thing. So let us know what you think and have a great day. Thanks.